It was senior day for Easter Connecticut women's basketball as there were four seniors going to be celebrated after the game. But it was a big game for the Warriors as they're trying to stay in first place in the Louise Conference as they would take on the Plymouth State Panthers who come in in ninth and last place in the Louise Conference. Let's get started here right in the first quarter as Keckler's going to find Gertel who gets it back to Keckler. Gertel's going to take a wide open free and she's going to get it to go. The senior getting things going early here for the Warriors. And later on towards the end, it's going to be the freshman star for the Panthers, Sal Zillow. She's going to be open. She'll take a free and she gets it to go. Alisa Sal Zillow was really feeling it in this game. As we dive into the beginning of the second quarter, and Barry's going to find Maya Villar. She's going to take a very contested shot in the paint, but she'll get it. Maya Villar with the absolute determination. Moving towards the end of the second quarter, a steal from the Panthers. It's going to be open for Sal Zill. It's looking like she's going to take a layup, but she's going to take a stop in the jump shot. She'll get it. Sal Zill was absolutely feeling it. As we dive into the second half, it would remain a competitive third quarter. As here in the beginning of the third, Salzil is going to dribble, find opening space. She'll take a three and she gets it. Salzil will have a career high of 23 points in this game as a freshman. Now here into the third, and Barry is going to miss a shot. Vard offense the rebound. She's going to get the shot. She'll get to the go and one. My Vard bringing the momentum to her team in her favor as the Warriors would expand their lead here. They really bring this out of reach as Lissa Gertel, the senior, is going to convert on a fast break layup. And then why not get another senior involved? Lissa Gertel is going to find open Tara approach Arena. A little nice dribble and she'll get it to go as the Warriors had an outstanding fourth quarter as they outscored the Panthers 22-9 in the fourth. And now we'll do it as the Warriors defeat the Panthers 67-47. They move to 19-4, 12-2 conference play. The next game will be Wednesday, February 19th against Keene State in the Louis Conference matchup.